50k, three videos at a time with Stephen Goddard. So this is um, a little guy, it's under construction, it's in the construction area at the moment, that's the best way to say it. Close off there, it fills quite a big lake in the distance over there. So the area I'm in, quite swampy and muddy, that's all due to the fact this area is under construction. But once again, we are in the site of a much older place, much older mill, and I am on private property, so I have to shift it to construction site now. But that's part of Peel's Mill, the old mill. The guide is where we will end. So we're going to pick up a bit of noise from the modern industry. And that is the site of old mill sites. Once again, all these, uh, all this area. I'll explain where we're going as we cross the road and go down into this direction. So as you can see, it's cordoned off. So we're just going to head off into the trees like we do. Down into this direction. So I'm going to just turn around. And we're going to go to a weir. So this is Elton Bleach Works. What I'm going to do is show you a few sites Oh yeah, just a few sites where old mills used to be it's around 1880 we're going to be up till 1930s some things don't appear on older maps but they were constantly expanding during the industrial revolution in this area so this is Woodhill Weir that's its name and it's part of Elton Breek Bleach Works which was situated on the other bank. It was also the site of a hat factory. And on the maps, all it says is hat factory. He made top hats for gentlemen. I know that much. So that's a weir, part of an old mill, part of old mill walls on this side. And we'll just go a bit further up towards, I showed you a guide channel which was filled in a reservoir that was to power Peel Mill or Peel Mills they were the calico printing mill and that was owned by Sir Robert Peel there is another mill where we just saw up in Burrs at the start of the original guide that goes to Elton and this is a separate guide but along the same path just to show you that these guide systems are in place all the way along and they are absolutely necessary to power the mills. At first they were for the power, but then they need the water, you know, to, to use in the bleaching processes and the dye processes. Also to boil water for the steam pressure engines. But as I said, the mill up in Burrs is much more modern. It's probably, for its day, the most modern and advanced mill in this area. And that was the combined efforts of Mr. Yates, Mr. Peel, and Mr. Hayworth, Jesse Hayworth. So the three mill owners combined to create Burr's Mill, which is a very modern mill in its day. And I know that sounds unusual, but what I'm saying is it's high tech. That's what I mean, not modern. It's quite high tech for its day. That's the term I should use. So we're in the site now where all the mill walls are, old mill, and this is all part of Peel Mills. Peel Mills had um, calico printing, but it also had all these with the filter beds. This is also part of Elton Works, Elton Bleach Works, 
I know we saw Elton Vale Bleach Works, but that's a different company. So as we travel a bit further up, as we travel a little bit further up, as I say, not going too fast, so we get the HD effect. And we tilt downwards slightly, so we can see the river as we go around trees. And we see off into the distance. So this is the site of the Elton Bleach Works and Peel Mill. And it is now a modern construction site. As we can see, that's a modern construction site, but these were all mills in this area. I've just told you about three. The Hat Works, Peel Mills, and Elton Bleach Works. So I'll just go down towards the river. Pan down and get some tranquility. So it's all part of the reshoot of the guide. And this is basically a miniature guide. So this is going to be just a one 10 minute episode, which is part of the Manchester Berry Bolton Canal Company's guide system. And I love looking down rivers. Seeing what's on the bottom of them when the water's really clear, all the pebbles. Which if you look very closely, some are bricks. All kinds of stonework in there. So that's the best angle there. So we can get a good view of the substrate of the river, which is on solid rock, which you can get on the other side. That's a solid rock, bed rock. And as I said, I love looking down rivers towards the drop of a little weir. I just like watching the water as it levels off and then just seems to disappear over the edge. So there's the modern foundations of a modern building. Gotta be honest, the old mills, they still stand the test of time and I've started to find a little place in my heart for these mills, I'll be honest. I used to love weirs and goits and dams. I had a bit of an interest in churches, never really bothered with trains to be honest, but I am interested in history. There's some of the solid substrate rock and slate on the other side of the river. See if we can get a zoom going. Some of the solid rock, which um, all basically all Manchester's on the same kind of substrate. It's um, solid sandstone rock, which has been formed from an old sea, an ancient sea, millions of years ago, where the sand has obviously dried and formed into solid stone with minerals. Fossilisation, of course. And there's a tree that's fallen into the river. So it's a natural filter bed for water, Manchester. Well, the Pennine area of Greater Manchester surrounding the centre is. Uh, it's a mixture of coal, gravel, peat. All these things are porous. So water filters through them down to the bedrock and finds its way to the rivers. So no matter where the river is, it's on the solid bedrock. So it's the same for the river, uh, the roach, the uh, well, they're all basically on the bedrock or the solid substrate and it's been washed clear so that's just stone underneath there, rocks and stones okay another little weir that we're approaching as I say hello Manchester UK almost walked right past the uh, camera again there as I do and that's the modern building sites as I say, down here is a weir, and you will see also a viaduct. That's part of the Berry to Holkenbrook line, which was electrified as a prototype for the rest of the electrified systems in the Greater Manchester area. And the main line, which was Colne to Liverpool. and basically went in and out all over the place but there's railway sidings everywhere in this area even where I'm standing right now 
It's the site of three railway lines tracks which ran off in that direction towards Berry Bolton Street Station. So this is Woodhill Viaduct. And this is the guy channel along the weir and we're gonna end here. Can you hear the noise? <laughs> the power of the water. That's what that is. The power of the water is what's powering all Greater Manchester at one point in history. So that guy channel enters underground here. That's a built-in structure. And it follows along under the ground here. But that's what's filling the reservoir where we started. So that's a brilliant ending. So it's Peel Mills, Woodhill Mills, Woodhill Bleach Works, and Elton Bleach Works. I said Elton Bleach Works, it is Woodhill Bleach Works and Elton Bleach Works. Not Elton Vale Bleach Works, and it's Woodhill Bleach Works, not Blood Woodhill Mill, which is further up in Burrs. Okay, Manchester, so it's the start of a guide channel that, that feeds a reservoir which powered Peel Mill. Peace out Manchester UK, brief videos of time.